Minecraft, Oblivion, Titan Quest Diablo and more. <laughs> Music by Life. Alright, it's time for another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. I just turned myself for no apparent reason. Um, And what we're going to work on today is changing that uh, cow farm. Uh, giving us the ability to transport the cows automatically from inside the farm or the, the holding pen or whatever to the grinder. So I'm just gathering up all the materials I'll need. Um, I guess I'll cut to when I've got those. Alright, so I've got a bunch of crap here that will hopefully be enough. Um, now that I think of it, we need a sticky piston, so luckily we have some slime balls. Oh yes, I, I should show you guys this. That is my hidden, semi-hidden chest. Um, I don't know, I just didn't want to put it in here because I didn't want to cover the windows and crap. So I put it under there, and it just holds all my, um mob crap um we're only gonna need one sticky piston i think so put that there and i'll cut to when i get out to the actual farm okay so we're over at the farm and uh we're basically overrun with cows so it's that's gonna make it very difficult to build um yeah it's not gonna be particularly fun I think, because these cows are going to be getting in the way constantly. Uh, but we're just going to build... Um, how should we do this? We need a way to hold them all together. Let's have... Let's build up higher. Okay. Let's build up way up here. Way up quite high. Um, and this is going to be the breeding grounds, so let's just have, I'll build it quite a way back. Let's go like this. Um, should be good, we'll expand this out a bit. My idea right here is that we're going to have a bunch of cows floating in water, and the water's going to all be flowing towards that center hole, uh, and in fact the water will flow onto the center hole. And whenever we breed them, the babies will fall... Actually, no, we won't have water flowing onto the... Wait. How does this work? Does this even work? Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm too dumb to do this right. Um, Man, I spent like three episodes building the grinder, and then I can't even think of how to do the breeder. Huh. Okay, I know how we're going to do this. I just dismantled the thing. But... We actually are going to want a platform up there. But it's going to be bigger than I thought. It doesn't really need to be high, I don't think. But I'm just leaving myself lots of space. Um, so let's build it, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blocks wide. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blocks tall. I mean, long. Okay, so we've built this little platform here. And we're going to hold all the cows in here um raise that a block so i can get in that's um the pillar i used to get up here i just chucked a ladder on there real quick so we can get up um we're going to hold all the cows in this area and there's going to be that idea of water flowing towards one point but it's not going to be exactly the same. It's going to be like that. Um, and I'll demonstrate in a second what I mean by that. Um, <clears throat> so all the cows will be in here. We'll have water. Where are my buckets? Oops, uh, there we go. Let's put a block uh, just on the outside of here. Okay. Uh, and water will be put there and there, so they'll all flow towards this end. And since cows are one and a half... Man, that's annoying. I hate the snow biome. There we go. Um, God damn it, I hate that. Um, 
Let's put some torches on here as well so we don't get... Actually, I can just put them on. There. Okay. Uh, all the cows will flow towards this point. We'll just step up onto the ledge and smash the wheat button to breed them all. And all the babies that we breed will go down this way. And uh, we'll have... That block actually won't exist right there. But we'll have a sign there so that they'll, the little babies will flow down and down a pillar to wherever or maybe into like a little water pit that will stop them from taking damage. And then they will flow to another holding cell. Or actually, I guess they'll land in the holding cell. And that will flow towards the thing. We'll, you know, just have a piston that uh, we, we push a button, the piston retracts, and they get allowed into there. So now... What we want to do, I think, is bring all the cows up. But that's going to be a problem, because cows are vertically challenged. As you can tell, they only managed to, you know, when they were evolving from whatever the hell they evolved from, they only managed to get one and a half blocks instead of two whole blocks. So and they've always felt anguish over this matter the cows so they really uh they make it seem like their persona that they just don't like to climb but in fact they don't like to do anything vertical at all because it's just so shameful i mean at least the pigs are true to their nature being only one block tall not one and a half half pie trying to get to two blocks um but you know that's just the way of life for these cows so what we're gonna have to do to transport them all up is once he gets out of the way, this freaking cow, um, which doesn't seem like it's going... Oh! Oh! God damn it! Freaking cows. Okay, we've got a couple blocks there. Oh yes, we got the blocks there. Um, my goodness. Let's try to push these dudes out of the way. Okay. Whoa! Massive frame loss there. And I'm going to have a... Uh, uh, water system going all the way up here. First we need to go grab some water and I'll just make an infinite spring up here. Uh, whoopsie daisies, like that. We can just grab water from this block here. Um, step back up onto here. Okay. And what we want to do, we're going to need a bunch of signs I think which is unfortunate because I despise signs but what we're just gonna do is put a you know source block there and then since these dudes are one and a half blocks high another source block there and then we'd have a ladder or a, a sign or what have you right there so that they can swim up in the source blocks of water get all the way to the top and then we'll seal it off so I've got to go grab some um, signs and I'll just cut to when I finish building that whole thing okay we're going to have to change this elevator thing. <sighs> um, I'm going to cut, like, to half an hour's time when I've actually fixed this piece of crap. Alright. Mob Evader V2. Cow Evader. Which took me, funnily enough, as I said, half an hour to build. Oh my god. Um, is complete. Uh, I'm just going to test it first, like, I don't even, I'll, I'll show you how it works, if it works. So if it doesn't work, it's, it's just about time for suicide. Um, now how do we let them in? Let's just get rid of the water for a second here. Um, I guess that'll be alright, and then we can let them in here. Then there's a sign there that we need to move, okay. Put the sign there instead. Okay, there's no way we can have a water block here, because it'll flow out that way. Unless we put a sign on that. Do we have an extra sign? No. Um, let's quickly craft ourselves a sign here. Uh, this. Okay. Like that. Alright. And we can put the sign on the side instead. Uh, yeah. Open that up. We can put a sign 
there. And we can put the water back here. Okay, um, now let's open this up. And the mobs, or the cows, can get in here. Um, and let's try to... Let's just push one in because I have no water with me. Uh, you'll do fine, sir. Get in there. Will you please go up? Um, he went up a bit of the way. Why isn't he going up here? That's the water source block, right? Yeah. And yet he is not going up. But he went up that far without assistance. Um, what happens if we push another cow in there? Something good? Come on, get in there. He goes up for a bit. Oh, the other one's gone up. They just take a while about it. Okay, maybe I push that one up. They seem to get stuck in the same place, though. Which is curious. Um, we got one up to the top, and he just doesn't want to quite sort of get up to there. Um, let's see if we can just... Okay, he's jumped out. Um, and then if we do have the water up there, that'll push him away. You can go over here, whatever. Um, oh, that cow made it up. Okay, so they do just take their time. There's no no problems with the system, I don't think. Okay. Um, I don't know how well they managed to get through this little funnel bit, though. Okay, yeah, we can just funnel them like that. No problems. Let's just put that block of water there so we can keep on being pushed. Uh, actually, now that we've got a couple of cows in here, let's block them off. That's really all we need in the breeding grounds. I could slaughter the other ones if I wanted. I'll just leave them down there for the slaughter. Um, my god. I'm not even going to... Okay, I'll show you how it works, but I'm definitely not doing a tutorial on that because... It was only used to bring two cows up here. It's such a stupid thing to do. Oh my god. Um, anyway, basically, we don't need these signs. They're all useless. Uh, let's basically completely ignore these four signs here that I had. Oops. Okay. The way this mob evader or cow evader, I think it works better for things that are actually two blocks high. Um... Like zombie skeletons, creepers, and obviously not endermen because they teleport away when they hit water. But each level is made up of a source block, a sign, source block, sign. So there's a source block in each corner and a sign in each corner. And uh, this design works obviously far better for people that are two block high because that way if they're in this source block, they swim up and then they touch the next source block before they leave the source block. I guess since the cows are one and a half blocks high, they get half a block out of that water, or maybe well, half a block into this water isn't enough. I have no idea. But, um... So, yeah, they just go all the way down alternating sides. All the way down, so every single block of water is a source block. All the way down on every single side. Like that. Easy as that. Um, I think I'm just getting a knock at the door. Alright, um... I had to actually close the game and everything because it was my little sister's birthday dinner, so I've been gone for a good while. But, um, so we've finished. What did we just do? We got some cows up this freaking mob evader that took goddamn years to craft. Um, if I can just, oh, yes, get up here. Um, and now we've got these two dudes hanging out in here. We need to deconstruct the mob evader. And now that I think of it, we could actually use this mob evader partially to our advantage where it's placed. Um, by We'll keep the cows up here in their pen. You know, let's expand this pen out for them, give them a bit of breathing room here. Uh, oops. Uh, oh well, I'll only need one bucket of water, I'm sure. Um, they can be held up here and we'll breed like a million of them up here eventually. Uh, I'll have to build up the, the cow supply again. After all that time of testing, they're all dead, so, you know. Oh, we're going to need the, the roof on here. Still. Whoops, I'm out of cobblestone. 
Am I really fully out of cobblestone? My goodness. Oh, there's some down here. Okay. Thank goodness. Uh, let's just jump up here. Okay. Chuck that like that. Okay, let's break these. And now I'm just going to go down and oh, clear out. And let's actually put a block uh, here. Come on, there. Why will a block not go there? Am I standing there? Okay. Put a block there and there so that we can bust off the sign here. Bust off the sign here and make a couple of infinite sources of water. And now I'm just going to go down, bust off all the signs and what have you. So I'll cut to when that's all complete. Oh, I just realized I'm breaking these signs. Um, we don't need water up here. Oh, we need a lack of water. Um, so let's just place a couple blocks and then... Okay, that was a fail. Um, because the mobs are going to be falling down here. We don't want them to be floating straight back up. Um, although we are going to have a little water safe drop down the very bottom of the setup so that they don't die when they fall. But, you know, that's a uh, story for another time. Alright, so I'm just clearing off the last sign here. And what we're going to do is open this up. And i just got to put a couple blocks down there. Put that there, break those away. Okay, so the mobs are going to fall, or the cows, fall all the way down here, safely land in the water, and then be pushed out to here. We can do whatever we want with this. Um, it's not exactly in an ideal location, but actually it could be in an ideal location, depending on how we set this up. Let me wall off that for a second uh, and get out of here. Oh, see daisies, don't you be jumping up here as well. Um... We could just bust out this, I think, uh, and be completely fine. Yeah, we can just replace this fence gate with a, with a couple blocks. Yeah, replace, actually let's mine out that first. Uh, put a block there. And then we need to chuck down a couple blocks down here. Boom. And actually we need to move this water back. Okay, put a couple of blocks there. Um, let's put a block here as well. So the mob's going to fall down. Let's block that off. Place the water here. And then mine out all that nonsense. Uh, let me see here. And the mobs will fall down, or the cows. We should put another water source block there, which also flows in the same direction. And then they'll flow into this area. And it's actually absolutely fine. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Close. But not this time. Wow, I am absolutely retarded. Um, oh my god. Did I break any redstone doing that? Doesn't look like it. Uh, might have just missed it. Whew! Jeez! Talk about giving yourself a frickin' heart attack. My god. Um, I don't want to die right now, because look at all this iron shit I've got. I do have an abundance of iron, but I don't want to have to replace it all. It's really not on my agenda. Uh... Let's just go like that so that we know for sure the mobs can't jump out of there. We can take that bit away. And we should be fine. Um, now all that's left to do whoops, is the mob delivery system. Wait. Yeah, now all we need. Okay, we need a piston like right there. So let's do that right now. Okay, let's go here. Dig out there. Oh, I need to jump in the hole so I don't float away. Uh, piston. There we go. Uh, put that right there. Okay, and then we need to go... 
up out of hell. Oh, okay. Replace that. And we need to go... We don't need to do this, but uh, exactly how I'm doing it, but... I want to make it all nice and discreet. Let's place a torch under there. And then... There's our redstone... I'm not exactly sure we want to lead this. Probably, we probably have it like just over here somewhere. Uh, I did not bring a pressure plate, so or a, actually we should get a switch. I mean to say a lever, and we can just plop that, like, there. Activate that to, okay, let's go over here. Lead the redstone, oh, okay, we need... This to be a block, uh, that needs to be on the block, so we need to go like this. Okay. There. That should be good. Uh, I don't think this is going to link up perfectly. We need to, uh, yeah, go like that. Okay. Easy. Let's just get out of here. Cover it in dirt. Just, uh, you know. Oh. Here we go. We need to go like this, actually. Um. There we go. Uh, because if I had it... Wait. Yeah, okay, and then re remove that block. Because now we can power it. And, you know, the redstone goes along. Powers this block, which has the redstone torch on it. But when it was coming from there, I had to lead it up onto there. Because it was pointing that way and not powering the block. And then we couldn't put a bla block there. Which is what I want to do. Make it all nice and neat and tidy. And great. Um, we can get rid of a lot of these blocks, I think. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of... I don't think we can get rid of this stuff. But, just to uh, show. Yep, that's... We'll bring the cows all the way. Oh my goodness, he's going to get into there. Let's push him in. Hey, get in there. Go on, go ahead. In you go. In you go, old boy. There you go. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a dead boy? You are. You are. Yes. Yes. Who's a dead boy? Who's a dead cow? Yes. Wonderful. Um. Yeah, I have yet to change this. Actually, I can just do that right now. Let's chuck her. We can... Dig here safely. Okay, good. Just like that. And now we can hide all the redstone. That evil, ugly redstone. Very good. Just trot, trot down here and collect the items and stuff. Um, This episode, I have a feeling, is really, really massively long. But that's okay. Now all we want to do... Breed some cows. Kill those cows that are in the current pen. That pen will be rendered useless. Uh, wow. I need to farm the wheat farm quickly. It's ready for harvesting. Yep. Okay. Replant this crap. Um, I don't know if I've shown you this uh, many times uh, other than the actual episode and tutorial where I made this. So, you know, this is what I have to do. This is what I do for a living. My livelihood depends on Raising these, this, this wheat, nursing it until I get a, a fully grown crop going on. Let's remove the water, jump up here, and our new sky pen for cows that makes sweet, sweet love. Um, I want to increase the, the size, of, like the amount of cows here first before we start farming down there. So I am going to have to just like show that at the in the next episode but all we're gonna do I could show you now actually and end up killing this cow um whoopsie daisies uh let's chop away some let's fix that up okay and then chuck a bit of water there oh we need another bucket of water uh anyway that'll push the if the baby if there was water coming from the other bit as well He'd get pushed in down there, eventually. Uh, 
Okay, I'll resolve that next episode. Uh, so, I'll just get up and out of here. And you can see the happy cow family. Probably some mobs going to be spawning down there. Anyway, that'll round it off for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, hit like. If you want to enjoy more, subscribe. Check out facebook.com slash ultimate nerd. OTV slash ultimate nerd. Links are in the description. Till next time.